Am I the a-hole for banning our daughter from attending a specific church group? A bit different from what you'd usually hear, I guess, but it's causing a real rift in our family. My husband and I have three kids, Jacob 17 male, Daisy 16 female, and Ben 13 male. About a year ago, Jacob came out as a gay and started dating a boy from his school. We were happy he discovered his identity, and there is no problem for me and my husband. I didn't think Daisy and Ben had a negative reaction either. Our family is about kindness and respecting all walks of life, so I wouldn't have tolerated it if so. Anyway, Daisy has become more interested in Christianity since going to church camp two years ago. She's part of some Christian clubs at school and she sometimes goes to church with her close friend Mia. My husband and I aren't really religious but we don't see anything wrong with it. Well recently, Mia's church has been in the local news for some homophobic actions. I won't be specific for privacy. I told Daisy that she'd obviously have to stop going and expected her to agree. Instead, she blew up and yelled at the most of her friends were there that she was planning a mission trip to Mexico not sure we'd have allowed that and that was she's being punished for her brother's choices I offered instead to drive her and any interested friends like Mia to one of the non-hateful churches in the area but she declined she feels I'm persecuting her for her faith beliefs but I see it as asking her to uphold our family standards she is welcome to be Christian and active in church but she can't hurt Jacob in the process Am I the a-hole? My husband is refusing to get involved, so it's up time to decide how to handle it going forward. NTA, because her now believing her brother's homosexuality is a choice is a huge red flag for me about her continuing to go to this church. They taught her to see homosexuality as a choice. I think it's good mom is trying to pull her out. NTA dot punished for her brother's choices. Not sure where she failed biology, because homosexuality exists in every facet of nature. You are trying to keep your child out of a hate group, not the faith itself. You aren't blaming all Christians for the extremism of that one church, so your kid can get off that nonsense. Absolutely NTA. Unished for her brother's choices. Not sure where she failed biology because homosexuality exists in every facet of nature. It is not necessarily a case that the daughter has failed biology. If this is one of those churches that takes the stance that homosexuality is not a sin, but that homosexual acts are. It wouldn't surprise me if some churches consider themselves progressive and accepting because they distinguish between homosexuality and homosexual acts. If the church in question has indoctrinated the daughter with the idea that homosexual acts are sinful, she could have been encouraged to think that her brother is making a choice. If the people the daughter has been interacting with in church have presented themselves as reasonable, in the sense that they claim not to have a problem with homosexual feelings, she may find it hard to see them as a hate group. The parents should really have done their homework on this particular church and its teachings if their daughter was going to be going. Geez yeah dot dot the fact she's already saying being gay is a choice. Knowing this talk definitely didn't come from the parents is a huge red flag dot dot I wonder what other BS they thought op daughter there. NTA get her as far away from that church as possible. This will be best for your son and daughter's relationship. Because the fact she thinks he made a choice by being gay. Probably did some damage to him. You are trying to keep your child out of a hate group this, but also be aware that these churches are basically cults. Your daughter will need a lot of therapy and you'll need to keep her away from the kids that she's friends with in that church. You might need to change schools. Honestly, that's probably for the best anyway, since your son also presumably attends the school, and I'm sure they go out of their way to make his life miserable. You know, to save him. She'll hate you for it now, but she'll thank you for it later. Those mission trips are actually called missionary tourism and they are effectively photo ops for people who think handing a Bible to a starving mother is going to help. It's for Pentecostal and Fundy churches to pat themselves on the back and tail lots and lots of photos tagging Abed, how the poor brown people need Jesus. Well, Abadiah, they need food, clean water, and healthcare first. Methinks. Also, those people get in trouble with the local law a lot because they never bother to learn a single thing Abed the area, up to and including the fact that most places target largely Catholic areas of the world, so they're already Christians anyway. But fundies don't see it that way. So yeah, it's phony and crap, and you do not want your kid going on those op. 
the out of the mission trip is as good an indicator of this church's attitudes as their stance on homosexuality, i.e. outdated, warped and dehumanizing of anyone who doesn't look and act like them. In ops shoes I would want to get my kid out of their clutches ASAP, though it may prove hard in practice. It sounds like she's already internalizing some of that persecution rhetoric. NTA op, but I would consult with an expert before taking further action. Churches like this are like abusive partners in the way they try to separate people from their support networks with, if they're not supporting our oppression of others, they're persecuting us is nonsense. At Daisy's age, trying to simply force her to stop going. Beta. Not because you want her to change churches, but because you probably didn't even check out the Christian camp you sent her to. These camps spend the entire time scaring the kids that they're going to hell, that Muslims are trying to kill them, and being gay is the worst thing ever. You realize that this camp could even be affiliated with this church. So good job sending daughter to indoctrination camp and turning her into a bigot. Not all Christian camps are like that. I went to one as a kid, it was mostly a regular summer camp run by a church with morning prayer. When I came out as gay and trans, the pastor there, who I had known since I was a toddler, was very accepting. I was also a Catholic and they never tried to convert me either. Not all Christian camps are like that. I was raised in a Christian home and often went weekend camps with my church. We were taught to love our neighbors, even if their beliefs differ from our own. The question about homosexuality did come up once, and our pastor said something along the lines of Jesus said that he who is without sin may cast the first stone. It is not our place to judge others, only to love. NTA op, but you're in a tough spot. This feels the most constructive way out. Get her socially involved in other things. It sounds like she has a good heart. Maybe volunteer with her somewhere, bring along her friend. And until she phases out of it, I would go with her on occasion so that you know what she is being taught. Ask her to check out some other places out with you. Help her find what she's searching for just like you have so brilliantly done with your son.